Matrix is a system, Neil. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Who is it? This... This isn't the Matrix? No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone, and they are no one. We have survived by hiding from them, by running from them. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Shalom, family. Shalom. Coming with a very important message today. This is going to blow y'all away because it blew me away, okay? <clears throat> we is going to talk about astral travel and the matrix revealed in the Bible, okay? Now, y'all y'all not even ready for this because it, it go deeper and just revealing it in the Bible that is in there. It's about what it says, okay? So we're going to delve into astral travel and the matrix today. And we're going to break down that matrix clip that I just showed y'all. And after we break that clip down, I'm going to show y'all another clip. And we're going to break that clip down. Y'all got to stay with me to the end because this is... I don't really get to the point to the end. I can't. I got to I got to make y'all wait. I'm sorry. I got to make y'all wait for it. Okay. <laughs> first thing first, we need to talk about astral travel before we talk about the matrix and before we can break the matrix movie clip down. We need to talk about astral travel. So, let's do that first. So in the Bible, it actually talks about astral travel. Now, when you astral travel, many people have um, um, say, um, said that they seen a silver cord either coming from their head or the um, abdominum area. And I think it depends on where you're vibrating, where the cord connects to you. I really think that because some people say it's connected to their abdominal and some people say it's connected to their head. So we're going to read Ecclesiastes 12 and we're going to really get into this today. So it say, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So, you know, when we young, you, they say we pure, right? Because we haven't done a whole bunch of evil stuff. That's basically what it's saying right there. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. While you haven't sinned and all of that, children are pure. We always say this, so everybody should understand that right there. Nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. And the day when the keepers, what did they just say in, 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 in the matrix? It said that they the gatekeepers right now. They was talking about the evil people being called the gatekeepers. We're going to break all of this down. Y'all got to stay with me. It's saying the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong man shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. And the door shall be shut in the streets, 
when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way. See, it say also when they shall be afraid of that which is high. And what do I always say in, the, in my videos? People are afraid of the most high because the devil has used so much of his symbology that people think the symbology belongs to the devil now. So people are afraid of what is high. And fear shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish. And the grasshopper shall be burdened. And desires shall fail. Because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the streets. Now, this is where I start talking about astral travel. <clears throat> and this is the last verse we're going to read. Well, we're going to read six and seven. We're not going to keep going. This is a short um, chapter anyway. But the main point is six and seven. So it's saying, or ever the silver cord be loosed. What silver cord? This is the astral travel silver cord that... People say it's, they see connected to them. Now, I've never seen the silver cord connected to me, but that don't mean I won't see it yet. I won't see it. I just haven't seen it yet. Okay. So I say, or ever the silver cord be loosed. So when the silver cord be loosed or the golden bowl be broken or the pitcher be broken at the fountain or the wheel broken at the cistern, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So it's saying when you cut your silver cord, when the silver cord be loosed, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So when people, you know, when you ask your travel, they tell you don't um, let the cord get cut. Well, from where I've um, know about it the only way the core can be cut is if you cut it yourself now we going to, we going to even talk about possession in here we might as well go ahead and throw that up in here after we talk about the matrix <laughs> say not so let's say i think i'm gonna do a separate video just so this don't be too much for y'all to register in one video so i say <clears throat> or the silver cord be loose or the golden bowl be broken or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So ever the silver cord be loose, then it sh shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. So we understand that the Bible even agree that if you cut your cord, your physical body dies, and your spirit go back to the spiritual realm, right? Or back to God who gave it, right? We understand that. Everybody in agreement, right? Even the spiritual people, the New Agers, all the communities is in agreement. Even the Bible is in agreement. We all in agreement about the silver cord. Now, now that we know what the silver cord is and what happens when you disconnect it, we're going to learn a little bit about it. So it say the silver core in metaphysical studies and literature, also known as the Sutratma or life thread of Antakarana, refers to the life giving linkage from the higher self, Atma, down to the physical body. So when you are in the astral plane and that cord is connected to you, that's your higher self. When you see that cord, you are your you are your higher self right now. And that cord is connected down. Your, it's connecting you, your higher self, down to the physical body. It says it or your spiritual self. It say it also refers to an extended synthesis of this thread in a sec in a second, the consciousness thread passing from the soul to the physical body that connects the physical body to the etheric body, onwards to the astral body, and finally to the mental body. In other research, it is described as a strong silver colored elastic core which joins a person's physical body to its astral body a manifestation of the physical body that is less distinct <clears throat> alfred Bal balabini an astral projector whose works are mostly published and accessed online observed that during his out of the body experience glue-like strings appear as the astral body tries to separate itself from the physical body as the astral body moves further away from the tangible body 
Some of the strings break apart and clump into a specific and smaller region, preferably the head, breast, back, stomach, and the abdominum area, thus forming the silver cord. Some prophets and soothsayers in ancient times also claim to have seen the silver cord during their out of body experiences. So, and we can we can already say that's true because we just read it in our very own Bible and our very own scriptures. Why people think the Bible is a lie is because they never studied it and don't know nothing about it, and that's sad. Because you know, people, when you don't know about something, you shouldn't really speak on it. I mean, because you know how you when you make assumptions, you only make an ass out of yourself. Okay, so let's say dorm astral projection and out-of-body experiences some claim they can at will or otherwise see a silver cord linking their ash oh did we already read that part no no okay see a silver cord linking their astral form to their physical body this cord mainly appears to a beginning projector and is assurance they will not become lost however however even experienced projectors find it useful claiming it is a fast way to return to the body Balabini, on the other hand, stated that the cord not only serves as a link between the two bodies, but it also limits the astral body from wandering great distances. His experiment showed that as the astral travel, as the astral body moves farther away from the physical body and reaches a distance of 50 to 7 meters, the silver cord pulls the astral form right back into the physical body. Others asserted, though, that the case of the silver cord observations doing during out-of-body experience and the astral projections are rare rather no astral body is observed and the projector sees himself or herself as a disembodied awareness or point of view in most cases so you know how we watch stuff and it say like pof i mean pov point of view it mean point of view and you can only see or like games where you can't see the character you only see what they seeing out of their eyes that's pov that's point of view Passing through a tunnel is compared to the birth canal and the silver cord resembling the umbilical cord. These are a few observations during out-of-body experiences that sometimes are linked to childbirth. Birth theories hypothesize that people who were delivered by cesarean section do not have tunnel experiences during astral projections. On the contrary, one study showed that there is no discrepancy between the experiences observed by people who are born through cesarean section and those born naturally through their OBE or astral projection. The attachment point of the core to the astral body differs, not only between projectors, but also from projection to projection. These points correspond to major chakra positions. According to the observation of Robert Bruce, there is not a single point of connection to the denser body, but rather a locally converging collection of strands leading out of all the major chakras and some of the minor ones. Now, we're going to show this in the next clip from the Matrix, y'all, but we got to break down this first clip first. And to do that, we got to fully understand what astral projection and the silver cord is. Okay, before I can't do it because y'all won't believe me until I until I do this. We got to do it step by step. So bear with me. The silver cord is mentioned by mystics, especially in context of dying and of near-death experiences. It is said that the cord must remain connected to the astral and to the physical bodies during their projection because if it breaks, the projector will die. If a person gets older or if their death is near, the astral body slowly separates itself from the physical body and the silver cord breaks, making a complete and irreversible separation of the two bodies. In this situation, the idea of death and dying is interpreted as the permanent astral projection that cannot be undone. <coughs> but, uh, okay. Look, this say as translated from the original Hebrew in the complete Tanakh. Okay, before the silver cord snaps and the golden fountain is shattered and the pitcher breaks at the fountain. And that's the scripture I just actually read to y'all. This is just like an NIV or something translation because you could tell before the silver cord snaps, which in the King James it said before the cord be loosed. So it say, and the dust returns to the earth as it was and the spirit returns to God who gave it. And this is given, oh, NIV, you know, different um, things. 
So we can see that the silver core is what connects us, our higher self, to our physical self that we are in this realm. That we are in this realm. And when we astral travel, that's actually our higher self. That's our higher self. When we astral travel, we're experiencing our higher self. And when we're in the flesh, this is actually our lower self because anything of the flesh is um, lower vibrational. But that's why you have to overcome the flesh. And this is what the Bible tells you. It tells you to overcome the flesh. It says put off the flesh and sin not. Okay, so that's why it say that. <clears throat> so it say because it, once we do that, we we are closer to our higher selves. Therefore, being able to receive those telepathic messages from our higher self, God, angels, spirit guides, whatever name that y'all want to call it. The name don't really matter. It's the it's the principle of it. Okay. Okay, so let's say, so we didn't read all of that. Okay, now, the reason why we need to understand this, because if you understand, in the matrix, it's backwards, okay? It's telling you to cut the cord. Don't cut the cord to your higher self. Let's get back to this clip because this is what we're going to do. Hold on, y'all. Let's replay the clip and really break this down. Now that we understand what the cord is, what it do, what everybody agree, agree on that it does, what the Bible testifies to that it does, connects you to your higher self. And when you lose it, you what? You die. When you lose the cord, you die. So, they, okay, so we do live in the matrix, right? Now we going to now we can talk about the matrix. We right now are in the matrix. But is that a bad thing? No. It is a learning experience. This is teaching you. I've been telling you guys in in all of the previous videos, if y'all watch my video about what is Aquarius really and you watch part 2, it's exactly what I'm telling you. This is um a training you in a training camp right now earth is to train you for the spiritual world your physical will manifest your spiritual and this is what i keep explaining to you now if you want to cut the cord understand your physical body will die and your spiritual body will go back into the spiritual realm prematurely prematurely without learning all the things that you needed to learn or experiencing all the things you needed to experience therefore being right back reincarnated to this place that you tried to cut your core from okay <laughs> listen so listen let's really break down the matrix because i'm about to show y'all the truth about it okay i'm about to show y'all the truth about it let's rewatch the clip <laughs> Matrix is a system, Neil. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers. So we're in the matrix. When we look around, what do we see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers. Carpenters. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. Carpenters. The very mind of the people who we are trying to save. I'm trying to save y'all mind right now, so y'all better listen, because this is about to get deep. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And what did he say? These Most of these people are not unready. They're not ready to cut the cord. They're not ready to cut the cord. Don't just go cutting your cord. When you ain't learned, you ain't had the experience you need, you ain't gained the wisdom you need, you ain't connected to your higher self in your physical body while you was there to get understanding and learn and get taught and everything, you just cut your cord. Just go on, cut your cord prematurely. Just a premature birth 
You just, because we, I ain't going to talk about being born again yet. I ain't going to do it. We're going to stay on task. We're going to stay on task. I'm sorry, y'all, because I had anxiety before I made this video. God was like, the spirit was like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Try to tell y'all. So listen, these people are not ready. And it's not because, oh, they don't have the courage. See, they're trying to make it on the movie like, oh, they don't have the courage to cut the cord. It's not about that. You shouldn't cut your cord. And, t and when you die is when your cord should be cut. Okay? Unless you feel, unless you know for sure that you would learn everything that you can possibly learn in this test. And you ready. You, I mean, in this pre-test, in this practice area. And you think you ready to get up in that classroom and take that test. And you just know for sure you're going to ace it with 100%. You're going to max it out. You gonna just get in there and get them get that A plus that good hundred percent without a doubt. Then go ahead and cut your cord. Go right ahead, and I'm I'm sure it's something that's for you to learn. That's why people get reincarnated so many times because it's still something for you to learn. Let's play the clip. <laughs> so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Freeze it. Freeze it. Pay attention to the pigeons flying, okay? This is representation of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm about to really break the matrix all the way down to y'all, okay? And what they do in these movies is they tell y'all the Bible, the same Bible y'all don't believe in, they make y'all movies around it and then they switch it. They switch the parts. So like he said, but they tried to make, see how I said, they tried to make it like not cutting your cord right now is a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. If you're not ready to cut your cord, do not cut your cord. Okay. You're not ready yet. They trying to make it like it's a bad thing. And that's what Satan do. The scripture say, let's get the scripture. This was saying do it say surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. So y'all trying to y'all trying to say, y'all trying to act like God don't know what's going on. He don't know it's a matrix. He don't know all this stuff. <laughs> okay. Satan is turning everything around on y'all. Just like I told y'all that he take spiritual uh, symbols and use them for perverseness. And people are afraid of the symbols now because they think they got to do with, with Satan or the devil. Your lower self. So what they did in this matrix is they turned things upside down. And we're going to prove that right now. We're going to prove that. Y'all got to stay with me. We're we going to prove that. We're going to prove that. Okay. This, this isn't the matrix. No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you will it's another training program designed to teach you one thing. But what he said, if you're not one of us, you're not one of them. See, see how they throw their own stuff in there? See how they throw their own stuff in there? But let's let them reveal. Let's let him reveal to us what it's really talking about. Let's let him reveal it. What are they? Sentient program. The doves, I told y'all, the pigeons are in a dove family and they represent the Holy Spirit right there. That's what they represent. And I'm going to prove it to y'all because what he about to say right here at this very moment. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. We 
We have survived by hiding from them, by running from them. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. What did he say? They are the gatekeepers. They are holding all the keys to the doors. Who is this talking about? He called them sentients. Y'all have not been talking about sensates and sentients and all of that. Didn't we talk about that in the 144,000 since, since 144,000 video? They reversed it. They're making the bad people in the movie. They're making the good people, the bad people in the movie and the bad people, the good people in the movie. So we know Neo and them are supposed to be the good people, but they should be playing the role of the sentience because though the 144,000, the, see how he said they was, they, they connected to everything. They can go in, they can, they're connected to the grid. Ain't that what we've been talking about? Getting connected to the grid, to the ley lines, to t talking about telepathy, aligning our chakra so we can align to the ley lines and astro travel and project anywhere we want to go and be um, connected to each other. When what I was telling y'all about this, the sensate, you can actually see, feel, and hear and all of that with somebody else and your cluster is doing. If y'all know what I'm talking about when I say cluster and all of that, please go back and watch the Sense 144,000 video. So the hundred, okay, so the 144,000 is a group of beings with a Christ consciousness. These group of beings are all connected to each other and they're formed off in smaller groups. The smaller groups all have the capability to be able to astral project to each other, experience what the other is experienced, give them help, advice, etc. Okay, so it's 144,000 Christ conscious beings all connected to each other, connected to the ley lines where they can astral project and do any and go anywhere in the world or we're going to talk about i ain't going to get out of the way in this video we're going to just say anywhere in the world or anywhere in any dimension galaxy or whatever okay <clears throat> using the electromagnetic fields in the magnetic field of the earth the ley lines etc so this is all and they called sensates or sentience he just, and they called gatekeepers. Now, when I did the video, when um, um, Flight Boss called me a demon, right? And I did the video, and the time of the video was, I think, 3511 or something. And the word for it was gatekeeper. And I said, I'm not a demon, I'm a gatekeeper. I'm a gatekeeper. They trying to give me the bad road, dog. They trying to give me the bad rap. This was Satan dude. He's turning everything upside down. This is what y'all need to understand so y'all can be able to decipher this stuff that y'all watching and everything. Because y'all getting brainwashed and y'all like, oh, we need to get out of the matrix. And all this stuff that they brainwashing y'all with. So let's reverse it and tell it like the like it is the truth. Let's turn it back up the right way. Because right now in this movie, Satan got it turned upside down. He just told y'all that they the sentience, they the gatekeepers, they hold the keys to the doors. The doors to what? The chakras. The chakras are aligned. They are the gatekeepers. <laughs> the 144,000. And they are connected to the program. They can astral project anywhere they want and do all this stuff. We talked about the spiritual gifts. Okay. So understand that they have flipped this around and they gave the bad, they gave the good people the bad title and the bad characters. And they gave the bad people the good title and the good characters because this is what Satan does. And he does it in all the movies. They do it in all the movies. Y'all need to understand this. It's to confuse you and take you off from your right track. So do we want to cut our cord? No, you don't want to cut your cord. You want to experience as much as you can experience. Learn as much as you can learn so you can be ready for the spiritual world when your cord is finally cut. Whether it be you deciding to cut it on your own in the astral realm or you physically die in this realm. Whatever it be, make sure you're ready before you cut that cord. Don't just go, don't just go cutting your cord now. 
Don't just go cutting your cord. Now let's get this other clip. Let's get this other clip because we go, we gonna get, we gonna it even go back. It even talk about being born again and all of that. Okay, listen, let's do it. Mm -mm. Okay, Neo enters the matrix. I think I should pull it up. Okay, here it goes. The constitutional amendment you'll vote on this November is a real threat to dialysis patients. Some vulnerable patients could lose access to clinics that keep them alive. I hate that we gotta listen to the commercial, y'all, but we live. Join Ohio's kidney care advocates in opposing issue two. Now, right here is the depiction. They going to show Neo being born again, basically. Born into the real world, being born again. So we born into this world and then we're also born into the spiritual world. This is why this, oh my God, I, I shouldn't even have to explain this. Y'all scriptures tell y'all you need to be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven, okay? And so you need to be born again to enter into the real world. We're going to do a video on the purge. Please stay tuned. That's going to be my next video because we're going to talk about being born again and the purge and all of that, okay? So you need to be, just like you born into this physical world, you're going to be born into the spiritual world. And this is what's happening to Neo right now. When he, cu when he cut his cord, right, he cut his cord and he went into what they call the real world or the spiritual world or the astral travel. See how they make it backwards? See, they, on the, on the movie, they act like you need to cut your cord to go to the um real world to go to be born into the real world but for us here in the physical world we need to do what we need to keep our cord attached to be able to astro travel right you need that cord you don't want to cut that cord don't be just cutting your cord because neo and them was saying all of that stuff on the matrix <laughs> okay y'all need to wake up <laughs> wake up Okay, listen. So if you need your, your if you need the silver cord to astro travel and to connect to your higher self while you in this physical realm, that is your link to the real world right now. You have the best of both worlds right now. You got the best of both worlds, okay? You can be in this physical world and still be connected to your higher self if you raise your frequency. Don't cut your cord. And you can still experience what they call in the real world or the astral travel realm with your core being connected. But let's go ahead and watch this clip. Did you? Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? Have you ever had a dream that you were so sure you was real? That's astral travel. Have y'all ever had a dream that just felt so real? Y'all, I mean, it was real. It ain't even feel real. You know it was real. I mean, you was feeling stuff in the dream and everything. Like, it was real. Listen to what they're telling y'all. When you dream, you go to your astral travel and you go to the astral realm, the spiritual realm, and it's real. It is real. But does that make this world, this matrix world that we call it any less null and void? No, because like what I say and what did even, um, what's his name on here say? Not Neo, the other guy, the black guy, I forget his name. What did he say? This is a, 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 a lesson you're being taught here. Okay. But let's let the clip play. I talked too much. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? This can't 
be what? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? But we can, we can awake from this dream when we do, when we raise our frequency, when we go into the astral realm. But when you go into the spiritual realm and you cut your core and you there forever, but what, what if you want to come back to the physical plane now? You see what I'm saying? Not saying that somebody would want to come back. I'm just saying, what if? Well, you, what if you didn't, I'm not going to say, what if you want to come back? What if you need to come back? What if you didn't learn everything you were supposed to learn or experience everything you were supposed to experience to gain wisdom and knowledge? Don't cut your cord. Hey boss, it's still nothing. Tank, we're going to need a signal soon. We got a fibrillation. Hey Park, location targeting almost there. It's going into arrest. Lock, I got him. Now, Tank, now. Now what's happening right now? Neo in the embryo. He in he I mean he an embryo. He in the womb right now. He in the womb. This is what he is. He in the womb. And guess what he about to be? Guess what he about to have coming out of him? The silver cord. The cord is coming out of his head and out of his back and all of that. That's what it's a representation of, okay? Or the umbilical cord. Look, he being he being born again, okay? He being born again. Taking his first breath, okay? Being born again. He got this big core coming out of his head, okay? And when that core get con disconnected, all the other cores come off. They calling this the real world. Now, I don't want my real world to look like this. That's all I'm going to say. You need to understand that even though Neo and them got the good role, they got the part of the good people. Their, their part is actually of the bad people. And this real world that they in, the spiritual world, is hell. They are in hell, okay? Look at it. Look around. This this is hell. You know why? Because they prematurely cut their core. We talked about why you get reincarnated. Because your physical manifests your spiritual world. And we talked about putting your signature on spiritual contracts to even explain it even further. Please refer back to these other videos to completely understand what I'm saying. So listen, y'all, this is deep because they in hell right now. Look around in this, this scenery. That don't look like heaven to me. That's not somewhere I want. That's not what I want my real world to look like. When I go to my astro place, I don't be trying to have it look like this. And even though they made the sentience the bad people or whatever, they're actually playing the they're actually and um they're actually and what heaven would be because because okay, if you watch the 
signing spiritual contracts, you understand that your inner will manifest what your spiritual realm will look like. So if you was on lower frequencies, you was devilish, evil, your spiritual world is going to manifest hell for you. If you was on higher frequency, you was loving, caring, and all of these things, this is what the spiritual world is going to manifest for you. So how they depict it, like even though they was even though it was the matrix, that's what the um your spiritual world would probably look more closer to this matrix world than what the heck they talking about the the real world, they real world in the movie, which is hell. Okay. Y'all better recognize He cut his core, he died, and he went to hell, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to tell y'all. And now, how did Neo and them, because I could have swore this movie, okay, because I could have swore on this movie, how Neo and them, when they was going into the Matrix, they was looking like other people, like how the guy, um, how he was the girl, and then it was really the, the, the evil sentient dude. I don't even want to give them the name sentient, because sentient, they trying to put good stuff on bad stuff, and I don't like that. I don't even want to call, I don't even want to call them that so but um see how i could have swore like when neo and them go into this and i'm i'm gonna find a clip and try to make sure i'm right but i could have swore correct me in the comments if i'm wrong y'all but if i'm right tell me i'm right so when they was going into the matrix world they didn't look like they self anymore like even though it was them like when they looked in the mirror or whatever they was like and having the body because they demons and they possessing people to get back into the physical world. How is Neo and them if they cut their core? Riddle me this: If Neo and them cut their core, they physical body died. They went to hell. How is they getting back into the matrix? They are possessing people. Okay, <laughs> these is the demons. These is demon possessions. When you astral travel, you might encounter some into evil entities and what they're going to ask you to do is cut your core because you're the only person who can cut your core and at that time that you cut your core they're going to convince you they're going to tell you oh my god i'm trying to tell y'all this movie is about demons these these people is demons dog they want y'all to cut your core so they can inhabit your body so they can go ahead and demon possess you demon possess your vessel okay that's, that's what they want you to do. They want you to cut your cord so they can demon possess your vessel. Y'all better recognize real. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Don't be cutting your cord. <laughs> Look. What it look like just happened right there. He took the cord out his head and he all flopped down. He died. <laughs> you see the cords down the back, down the spinal, okay? Down the spinal. When we see the pictures of the chakra down the back, the chakras down the back, y'all better recognize real. He being born right now. He was in the belly. Look, now he being born. He went out the vagina canal, right? Then we just talk about that. He went out the vagina canal. Whilst we just read this is about astral traveling, right? He went out the vagina canal, right? All right. <laughs> Day in hell, dog. This ain't happening. Okay. <laughs> this day in hell. I don't want to be a part of their real world. I mean, really? How y'all getting a good vibe from this? How, how y'all thought this was good? <laughs> Welcome to 
to the real world. So they told him, welcome to the real world. Now, I mean, how much more? I mean, I could probably keep finding clip after clip after clip and breaking it down for y'all, but those two clips should be enough to prove to y'all that um, they was the demons. They Neo and them was the demons. They had the they had the characteristics in the movie of the good people, though. I'm not saying that because I'm telling y'all that the devil is mixing it up. He giving the demons the good characteristics and the the angels the demon characteristics in the movie. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And just like demons possess vessels, angels and stuff can possess vessels too. And that's why he was, how they showed the sentience. And remember I was telling you how they, they got a cluster that they can go into each other's body and experience here. See all this good stuff. Go watch my 140, go watch my since 144,000 video on spiritual, uh, spiritual gifts and telepathy and and um all that where we talk about the sentience the senates and what they are and we break we actually decode um a show called sense eight yes but in this movie they gave um satan has turned it upside down satan has turned it upside down he gave the lower nature beings the higher being characteristics and the higher being characteristics the lower being nature on on the movie neo and them is demons and they in hell just in the movie they had the characteristics of an angel because what satan can transform into an angel of light y'all better quit playing with me i'm trying to tell y'all now listen let me get off this video before i get too hyper and too excited y'all better quit playing with me nah Look at what the Matrix 19, 9, 9, 9, 9. Y'all better quit playing with me. I think that's all I'm going to say because I don't want, I don't even want, we already been on here almost an hour, 50 minutes. <sighs> Look, that was deep. Look, blew me away. <laughs> Say no. Nah. No, I hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all understand how Satan playing you out here. And y'all need to open your third eye so you can see these things with your higher self and understand what's really going on. All right, family. Shalom. Till we meet again.